Hello everyone, this is Sheila Shafi and welcome to another episode by Process Arc. If you're in the market for a new process documentation software or you're a heavy user of Gantt charts, customer journey maps, or generally want to know if there is something better out there to help you visualize the diagrams that you build, then stick around as I'm going to talk to you about what software we ended up choosing and why we decided to switch out of Visio. So first off, this is not a paid promotion. There's no compensation that's going to take place between us and the software company that I'm going to mention to you. But the case for us making the switch from Visio to Lucid Charts was so compelling for us that I decided to share our story and the criteria that we use to ultimately switch out. Now, if you've been in the space of transformation, Lean Six Sigma, Agile, you probably have heard of Visio, which was the software and it still is a software owned by Microsoft that has dominated the process documentation space for a very long time. But recently we had an opportunity to kind of re-examine the platforms that we're using and the best way it is for us to interface with our clients and share our ideas and create more of a collaborative environment. And in that process, we stumbled on Lucid Charts. Now, we used three criteria to make the switch over and those were essentially the learning curve that my team had to go through to adopt this new platform, the pricing structure around the software and whether or not we were going to gain any productivity from making the switch over. And after we did our assessment, when all the answers came back positive, we decided to say goodbye to Visio and hello to Lucid Charts. Later on in this video, I will go over some of the pricing structure that Lucid Chart offers, um, some of its basic capabilities. I mean, this tool is so amazingly powerful that we can't really do it justice in this one video, but at least I'll give you a sense for the amount of templates and the capabilities that are built into it to give you a sense of whether or not it's the right option for you or not. And ultimately, really, when it comes to the concept of productivity, we built so many different diagrams, whether it's a Gantt chart or a Venn diagram or a customer journey map, a flow diagram, user interfaced graphics. We do so many different types of visual representation of work that we decided that we would gain a tremendous amount of productivity by making the switch over to Lucid Chart. And you will see again in the demo in a few seconds that they have made so many different templates for customer journey mapping flow charts, that it takes the thinking out of all the preparation that typically goes into actually building one of these diagrams. Now, if you've never actually built any of these flow charts, Gantt charts, customer journey maps, it's okay. I will leave a link above to some of the videos that I've done explaining how to do process mapping and customer journey mapping. But the beautiful thing again about Lucid Charts in each of its templates is that it gives you an option to actually watch a tutorial that explains the capability of that template and typically what it is you should use it for and how you can add and subtract from the features that they've already provided to you. So there is an, they give you enough uh, to be dangerous, but of course it's not going to make you an expert, only practice and going through classes and tutorials will help you advance your skills in making sure that you're using these templates appropriately. So let's jump right in to the Lucid Charts website and play around a little bit with it so you get a sense for its capability. And I will see you again in a few minutes. So here we are on Lucid Charts homepage. And before we go and discover some of its capabilities, Let's jump right into pricing because that was really one of the key considerations for us, making sure that we had the flexibility um, to structure the pricing as we needed it to. And here's the pricing option that's available to you. Essentially, think of it as three tiers. If you're an individual and like to purchase this thing on your own and you're willing to commit to 12 months, then the average cost is gonna come out to be roughly about $7.95 a month. 
if you're not sure if this is the right platform for you or software for you and or you know you're going to only need it temporarily then you can sign up for $9.95 a month per month no commitments long term and the beautiful thing about it is if you decide that you this is something that you want to share amongst multiple people within your team or your organization then essentially you can start thinking about purchasing a team level membership and the great thing about that is that because typically teams would like to share and access each other's files it gives you the capability to do so so it's quite nimble and of course at an enterprise level where you will need much larger number of licenses than typically you would have to interface with the sales team at lucid to get the appropriate pricing now let's go and take a look at the different types of templates that are available to you if you go into the document section and under the templates you will see a plethora of options whether it's swim lane diagrams flow charts timelines underneath each item on the left hand side you'll begin to see that you can essentially pick one of these items and under each section you have an unbelievable catalog of templates that you can use so essentially it takes a lot of the work out of spending time coming up with the right data elements pictures structure that's needed so if any of you guys out there like to build value stream maps outlining how product and information flows through an organization and how long things take and where it gets stuck then you would be using this value stream concept and all it takes is clicking that use template button and very quickly it gives you the template now the beautiful thing about this app is that as you can see on the left hand side of the page you have a section that's purely dedicated to teaching you how to use this template so they've got videos they've got links so if you've never used a particular type of a map you've heard about it you want to learn more this is actually an indirect way of learning about some of these concepts and of course if you've used it before wonderful then you can immediately start building it you can add and subtract the different shapes by you know essentially clicking on any of these i will actually show you how to build a particular map just to showcase how easy and intuitive this particular platform is so again if i get out of here and go back to the list of documents if you are into building uh, client experience maps then they also have customer experience maps customer journey maps that have been already templatized for you and so it takes really a lot of the thinking and structuring out of the, the essentially the, the, the stress of building these things and it's beautifully templatized for you and you can modify whatever you want about it. Now, let me showcase really how simple it is to build a template and I'm going to essentially build something that's blank. So again, again, you can either use a template or you can use a blank document and I'm going to use a blank document. Now, for any of you guys out there that have never built a process map, then you probably want to watch one of my earlier videos that talks about how to build a process flow diagram. But even if you haven't, um, I'll show you some of the basic principles, which is in this in the case of building one, essentially you would pick the shape that you're interested and you would drag and drop it in the space that you want to start building it. And it tells you that if you pick a rectangle, you're technically picking a process step. So here, let's build one out. Sales rep meets with customer. The next step would be, again, here I want to, there's a decision point, and the decision is customer decides to get quote. Now I'm kind of going outside of the lines of the box, but I can just, you know, click a corner, pick the corner and drag it and increase the size. Now let's go back and add the next step to our process, which is sales rep to 
develop quote and present present to client. Here we go. So each one of these shapes essentially has an explanation of what it is and what it's supposed to be representing and, and you can use them according to your needs. It's just really a drag and drop feature but most often it's really a combination of rectangles and diamonds. If you wanted to color code things for yourself essentially you would just click that button and add a color to it and if you wanted to create arrows that indicates how these boxes are connected with one another essentially you would click on the shape and you see that there are four um, red circles and so those are the points where connections can be made you select it you drag and drop to the next shape and it begins to give you an arrow so it's really that simple you don't have to worry about switching out of building a shape versus connecting a shape it's all part of the the way that the software has been built now the last feature that i will show you on this is the fact that you can save these files um, in many different formats which allows for easy sharing and even conversion into Visio. So if you organization is heavy user of Visio or some of your former documents are in Visio, you can convert them. We typically use the PDF or the JPEG version, but at the very bottom, you can see that it gives you the capability to also save it in a Visio format. So there's nice integration with very existing and dominant platforms like Visio. So as you saw, Lucid Charts is just an amazing platform. Now, this is not to say that Visio is not a good option for you. They, you know, it being a Microsoft product, uh, if at a corporate level, uh, from an organizational perspective, it, you know, it's probably a nice offering as part of the Microsoft suite of offerings. But Lucid Charts for us made a better sense given again the pricing structure that it had. You know, you can be an individual, uh, an individual consultant and can just buy a license for yourself. And it's far more cost effective in that way um, than really anything else that's in the marketplace. But if you have any questions, if you want to share some of the examples with which you've used Lucid Charts, or you generally have questions around process mapping, creating some of these diagrams, don't hesitate to leave your questions and comments below. I look forward to seeing you very soon. And if you don't mind, please don't forget to subscribe as it means a great deal to me. See you soon.